Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing mathematical tool and this is a lecture number 9. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 8 before watching this part 9. In this lecture, uh, we are going to discuss about logarithms. This is a very useful topic and uh, this is uh, nowhere in syllabus in any of the classes till now. But there is huge in class 11th. So, uh, earlier, uh, this was in class 10th and 11th as well. Um, sometimes uh, 10 to 12 year ago, this was a syllabus of class 8 also. But uh, suddenly, uh, this was removed from 8, 9, 10, everywhere. But there is huge of this logarithmic functions and logarithms in physics as well as chemistry. So that is why this is very very important topic for you that you have to learn this. There is no background of this topic to you. So it will be better to learn it very uh, seriously. So let us start this topic today that is logarithms. So logarithm is a topic. Let us start this today. There is no definition of logarithm but we can define it like a, a number say uh, a to the power x is equal to b then we can say x is equal to log of b to the base a this is a, uh, basically the meaning and uh, you can say the operational approach of logarithm but uh, we can define in this way that logarithm since a to the power x is b, x is called log of b to the base a. It read as log of b to the base a. It read as log of b to the base a. Right now, this is what? This is the read at. So you may read it as log of b to the base a. So we can define as logarithm of logarithm of any number any number logarithm of any number to a given base to a given base is the power to which base must be reached base must be raised to obtain that number to obtain that number right so logarithm of b is logarithm of a number to the given base is the power power right now logarithm of any number to a given base is the power right now so logarithm of any number to a given base is the power logarithm of b is x here and x is what x is nothing else but power x is power is the power to which base must be raised what is base here a is the base so base must be raised a must be raised to this x to obtain that number number is b so this is what the definition says right now so it can be defined like this and now how to use this logarithm and how some more applications will be there uh, so let us write few numbers for example if i am writing 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 then with the different definition we can write 2 is equal to log of 2 log of 4 to the base 2 log of 4 whole to the base 2 this is definition if i am writing 2 to the power 5 is 32 this employee 5 is log of 32 to the base 2 similarly some other examples can be also taken say 10 q is 1000 right now so we can write 3 is equal to log of 1000 to the base 10 etc so like this this is the power we can deal with these are here 2 is base here 10 is base here 2 is base 
Similarly, some other numbers can be also written 3 to the power 4 is equal to 81. This employee 4 is equal to log of 81 to the base 3. So, this can be, base can be anything, you know. So, if I am looking for the same, if I can write here, let us uh, do this some definition, a to the power 1 is equal to a. So, as per definition, we can write 1 is equal to log of a to the base a. 1 is equal to log of a to the base a. So, log a to the base a is 1. Similarly, if I am writing 2 to the power 1 is 2, so 1 is nothing else but 2 to the base 2. So, in the same way, uh, we can write it. So, remember this one is a formula that uh, log a to the base a is 1. Remember this, this one is a formula, one formula that log of a to the base a is 1, right now. Similarly, if I am writing here anything like a to the power 0 is equal to 1. So, we can write 0 is equal to log of 1 to the base a. And this is also very important one that log 1 is always 0. Log 1 is always 0. Any number, see 3 to the power 0 is equal to 1. So, 0 can be written as log of 1 to the base 3. So, whether base is 3, base is a, base is 2, whatever the base is, but log 1 is always 0. So, remember this log 1 to the base a is always 0, whatever the base may be. So, a is an arbitrary number and that is why I have written like this log of a to the base log 1 is always 0. Remember this. This is also very important one right now. So, remember this log 1 is always 0 whatever the base may be and log a to the base a is 1. Some more application of log h say a to the power some important theorems, some important result, important formula or rules, rules right now. First one is product formula, product formula, product rule right now, product rule or product formula. What is that? In that formula, it is given that log of m into n, right now, to the base a is equal to log of m to the base a plus log of n to the base a. So, this is a formula. You must remember this. Then, thereafter, there is a quotient formula, quotient rule or quotient formula. What is that? That is log of m to the base by n to the base a is equal to can be written as log of m to the base a minus log of n to the base a. So, this is a quotient rule. Then there is a power formula. Third one is we can write power formula. This one second, this is first one. So, power formula. Now, it's power rule. What is that? Log of m to the power n and whole to the base a can be written as n times of log of m to the base a. So, this is a power rule, right? I hope you got it. And the fourth one is base change formula. Base change rule. What is that? If there is a log of m to the base a, then this can be written as log of m to the base b. b is a new base multiplied by log of b and this base will remain here a. So, that is called base change formula. Then uh, there is another one that is called reciprocal. Log of reciprocal formula. Reciprocal rule. You can say here reciprocal rule. What is that? In this rule, log of a to the base b is equal to 1 upon log of b to the base a. This is what we can write here and we will use them all right now. So, we will use them all these rules. We can prove it also, but there is no proof is required. Just let me explain one of them 
log m into n so that you can understood each and everything proof of first just one proof right now log of m to into n to the base a is equal to log of m to the base a plus log of n to the base a so now to prove it let log of m to the base a is equal to x this employee m is equal to a to the power x this base will be number h will be raised to the power base again log of n to the base a is equal to y say so n is equal to a to the power y now m into n is what we want to find m into n so m into n is therefore m into n is equal to a to the power x into a to the power y since base is same so power can be added now a to the power x plus y is equal to m into n this imply as per definition of this x plus y is equal to log of m to the a, m multiply by n to the base a this was the definition right now now putting the value of x and y we will have here if i'll put the value of x and y x is what nothing else but log of log of m to the base a plus log of y is nothing else but n to the base a is equal to log of m into n to the base a and this was the proof of the first rule similarly you can prove any one of them but that proof is not required just for a clear concept i had proved this but there is no use of proof and uh, no required proof is not required at all i hope you got it and uh, this is what the formula this is the proof so you must remember the formula and that will be more than enough no proof is required at all now uh, logarithms are of two types two types or two system of logarithm so system of logarithms let me write here system of logarithms logarithms one is natural logarithm natural logarithm logarithm natural logarithm is a logarithm a logarithm which base is base is e base is e where e is an exponential number and e is a e is a exponential number exponential number whose expansion is which is which is defined as which is defined as defined as e is equal to 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial up to infinity and the value of e if you calculate this the value of e is 2.71 right now 2.7128 right now 2.7128 7182 in fact 2.7182 so it will be better to write approximately 2.7182 right now so 2.72 approx approximately 2.72 so this is e and natural logarithm uh, will always express this will be used for all theoretical purpose this will be used for all theoretical theoretical derivation derivation derivations 
right now theoretical derivations so i hope you got it okay theoretical derivations now uh, the second type of logarithm is called common logarithm common the name is speak itself that this is common not for a specific common logarithms what is this common logarithm a logarithm of base 10 logarithm of base 10 is called common logarithm is called common logarithm common logarithm right it is used for all arithmetic calculation arithmetic calculations calculations right so common logarithm is usually used for all arithmetic calculations. now the next term is characteristics characteristics what is characteristic and mentisa mentisa right now characteristics and mentisa so first of all characteristics i am writing about the characteristics characteristics right characteristics of logarithm characteristics of a logarithm logarithm is an integral part integral part of part of number after expressing expressing its mentisa mentisa as positive positive right positive so how is that for example it is always one less than the number so if uh, some examples logarithm of a number logarithm of a number is given like 2.6298 then here since mentisa is positive then here characteristic age characteristic age 2 and mentisa age mentisa age 0.6298 this is mentisa because they are already positive right similarly if i am writing here that a number if logarithm of logarithm of a number of number of a number is say 0 0.6896 then here because this is a mentisa is positive so characteristic is characteristic stick age 0 and mentisa is mentisa is 0.6896 like this if logarithm of a number say if logarithm of a number logarithm of a number age like minus one point two three five two then here number can be written as number can be rewritten rewritten as minus one plus minus of minus one plus zero point two three five two which is equal to minus one minus 
zero point two three five two. To make it positive, we need to add one and subtract one also. So here minus one, minus one, plus one, minus zero point two three five two. So if I write here, then what will happen? This is minus two, and one minus this is what? That is eight, four, and six and seven. So now this characteristic mantissa is positive because one minus something uh, less than one is positive. So here the characteristic is, if written this is positive, so characteristic is here characteristic is characteristic is minus two, or it is written as two to the power bar, and mantissa is mantissa is. 0.7648 like this so the question is what is the rules for finding the characteristics so right here the rules for finding characteristics of stick of a number number rules for finding characteristic of a number so the rule one is Rule one. Rule one. What is that? Rule one says that if number is greater than one, number is greater than one, greater than one, then its characteristic, then its characteristic will be positive then its characteristic will be positive characteristic characteristic tick will be positive positive it characteristic will be positive right now and uh, the number of the characteristics the value of characteristic in this case characteristic is one less than less than the numbers of number of digits in integral part integral part right now for example if i am writing here that uh, find logarithm of if you have to find the logarithm of 2 3 5.2 in this way the characteristic will be characteristic number is say if number is like this then characteristic will be then characteristic is characteristic will be here the integral it, digit is 3 so characteristic is 1 integral digits digits are 3 and therefore characteristic is 1 2 1 less than the number of digits because there are 3 digits so here characteristic will be characteristic is 2 right now characteristic is 2 because integral digits are 3 so 1 less than if the number is written like say if the number is um, 2.0654 then here characteristic is 0 characteristic is 0 why because characteristic is 0 because there is only one digit and one minus one integral digits are integral digits digit is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so characteristic is zero. characteristics characteristic of a number 
less than one less than one is negative and it is one more than the number of zeros immediate after immediate after decimal points decimal points right for example if the number is like 0 0.2352 say number is n n is number so the characteristic of this number is because after decimal there is no zero so here characteristic is characteristic is because there is no zero that is zero and one more characteristic is one characteristic is one if number is like 0 0.002352 like this then here two zeros are there and therefore characteristic of number will be so here characteristic will be characteristic will be because there are two zeros so one more than the zero that is three but because they are negative now so it will be this or we can write one here also minus three or three to the power bar this can be written this way so number of zeros if number is less than one then this type of way we can find the characteristic of number the mentisa 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 that is plural of mentisa mentisa of mentisa of the logarithm of logarithm of all numbers all numbers consisting of consisting same digits same digits are same but different in decimal position decimal position different in decimal position right different in decimal position for example logarithm of logarithm of 12.43 logarithm of logarithm of 1.243 logarithm of of 0.1243 has same mentisa mentisa right as same mentisa that is plural the decimal points will differ but uh, the mentisa of all these numbers because they are moved of same digits they have same mentisa now let us learn how to calculate logarithm and how to see logarithmic table uh, logarithm of a number and how to see logarithmic table so here uh, I'm taking one example. I suppose I have to find log of 31.62, right now, this is a number. So if I have to find log of 31.62, then what will happen? Find log of 31.62. So the, so because there are two integral numbers, so characteristic will be one, isn't it? characteristic will be 1 and we have to see mentisa so we have to see for with 31 see the first two digit here in logarithmic table you will find there it will be from 00, 0 to um, 99 right now so see first two digit definitely uh, if you will see here 31 31 here you will see this 31 and then go to table number 6 in the same horizontal this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 
So if I move to 31 to 6 table, this will be the number, right now, 4.4997, right now. And thereafter for this and for this last four digit, this is a 2, for 2, we will find this mean difference and mean difference of 2 is, here is the mean difference that is called 2 and 2 in the same column if i move here the same column in 2 there is 3 so i have to add this 3 also so this is 4997 plus 3 is 5000 5000 is the value and so a uh, characteristic is mentisa is 5000 right now so log 31.62 is 1.5000 1.5000 this is a log you know so similarly suppose someone has to calculate log 34.56 right now take one example find log of 34.56 like this so here also or 345 point say if i am right here writing here 345.56 even then also you have to see this here because there are three digits so characteristic must be two and now we have to see the first two digits that is 34 and in column 5 as well so 34 is here just pay attention 34 is here and fifth column you have to see in fifth column so fifth column is what there is in this fifth column 34 is there and fifth column this is the value 5 3 5 3 you write here 5 3 you know and 7 8 this one roughly you can write here and now you have to see the mean difference 6 so in 6 1 here if you will find this uh, this is not complete so here I take just 4 right now instead of six i may write here four because uh, you will see this four also so if i'll see in four then what will be that in the same row four has difference five you know so five will be added to this and then what will happen this will be equal to five three seven eight plus five is five three eight three so that will be five three eight three and that will be answer so you can calculate logarithm of any number by using this fact you know and i hopefully you will got this this is very very important one so you will learn it now uh, if there is a number less than one even also then you have to see first two digit characteristic will only change as i uh, said that mentisa will not change for any four digit of numbers so you can see the log table i hope so right now you have to see this now uh, nt log how to see nt log so for nt log nt log now suppose uh, how and nd log of uh, the given numbers suppose we have to uh, logarithm of a number is given and we have to find nt log of that number so two point say two point one two three four like this this is a number and say this is a y nt log we have to find nt log of nt log of this so what the basic thing is that to find nt log you just ignore this characteristic part if ignore the first step is ignore ignore characteristic characteristic for finding for finding nt log nt log the first two digit consider the first two digit consider the first two digit and then consider the first two digit two digit of mentisa of mentisa right 
and so here the first two digit is 0 0.12 so see the table see the extreme left extreme left column of anti log table anti log table and find the value of value of column 3 column 3 in correspond to correspond to 0 0.12 to 0 0.12 right now so 0 0.12 in third column what will be the value let us see this is a 0 0.12 right now and third column is here this is means 1327 this is 1327 so which is 1 3 that is 1327 right now now the next step is find the difference of the difference in corresponding rows corresponding rows of corresponding rows for the column for the column for the column of fourth digit of mentisa mentisa right now that is what is fourth digit here here fourth digit is four that is four so if we'll see difference of mean difference if we see the mean difference mean difference in column four column four of corresponding rows corresponding rows of 0 0.12 you will find what is that tell me difference fourth one fourth is here only mean difference four so if you will see in this corresponding row this is the row and mean difference is one right now this is one so we will add one that is one here so row is one is one so add this to add this to the value three one three two seven that is one three two seven plus one that is one three two eight now the value of decimal the value is the value is 1328 but how to place now you have to place the decimal position to place decimal position decimal position it is always one more than than the characteristic 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 right now so since characteristic is what is characteristic two so decimal position since characteristic is two since characteristic Characteristic is 2 here, so decimal position 2. So here decimal position will be after 3 digit, 3 digit, 1 more, 
three digit from left from left and hence the required number is hence the required number is required number is what one three two point eight one three two point eight and that is the answer so hopefully you will do accordingly and you will find log and empty log and you will do that right now i hope uh, you understood and you make some practice like this only and if there is anything not clear and um, i should have to take more examples but i think it is enough you will be able to understand it if there is anything left and not clear then watch this video again and again you will definitely get the point right so thank you very much in this session god bless keep watching and uh, do subscribe this channel as well thank you thank you very much